Yo, what's going on, guys? Lockout men right here back again. It's late night. Late night. It's been on my mind all day. It's a sad situation. And um, it's being talked about. It's trending. Video. Today's topic is about a video that just came out. A uh, black man was jogging in uh, Georgia, minding his own business, and he uh, and he pretty much got assassinated. Let's talk about it. Yeah, man. Sad, sad state of affairs we're living in right now. Sad state of affairs that we are living in right now. What's going on, guys? Lockout men, and I am here. I'm back again with another podcast for you guys. I really do appreciate you guys, you know, tuning in. And uh, and thanks for all your support, man. I really I, I, I appreciate all you guys. If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. I bring it to you. You know what I'm saying? Well, this topic right here, man, was brought to my attention by my good buddy, D Nitty. Um, and it was a couple of, maybe about a couple of days ago. And I didn't realize that, I didn't realize what was going on when I saw the video. So when I looked at the video, I, I I looked at it and I told him, I was like, whoa, bro, I was, wait. I said, did somebody get shot? He was like, yeah. He said, yeah, somebody got shot in broad daylight. And then come to find out, now mind you, that this incident did not trend when it happened. All right, so let me just put that out there to you guys. This particular incident did not trend at all when it first happened. It's only trending because the video just recently came out. This incident happened back up in February of this year. Young man running, minding his own business, get accosted by two white guys, uh, a struggle ensued and he was shot. He was shot to death. And the only reason why it's, it's trending now because of the video, the video just now coming out. And then now it's all over the news. It's all over the internet. Everybody's talking about it. LeBron James talked about it. Uh, his the, the the guy's mother is hitting the hitting the news sites and everything, but when it first happened though, it was silence, nothing, nobody was talking about it. It was just just another day in Georgia, I guess, another day in Georgia. Now don't now guys don't don't get mad at me. All right, don't get mad at me. All right, I'm I'm just stating what I see. I, I back in February, I ain't, I ain't hear nothing about it. It wasn't trending. We didn't even know the guy's name. You know, in the news at that time, it was just it was probably on the back paper. But now, now cell phone footage of the shooting coming out now now it's a bit story now it's a it's a thing it's you know it's two white guys so of course race is gonna is gonna play a part of of this situation now two white guys shot and in a uh a, a, a innocent a innocent unarmed black man simply because they thought that he was 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 still uh, you know thought he was a thief or something like that and as far as the as far as the black guy 
I guess it was just another case as being another case of being at the wrong place at the wrong time. Um, hmm. wrong place at the wrong time. Let's go to CBS this evening news for the report. The shooting that's inflamed racial tensions in a Georgia community. Tonight, video has surfaced of an African-American man being chased down and killed. His family says he was just out jogging. We should warn you, the video is graphic. Here's CBS's Omar Villafranca. This cell phone video captures the final moments of Ahmaud Arbery's life while he was jogging through this Brunswick, Georgia neighborhood in February. Arbery was confronted by Gregory McMichael and his son Travis, who shot Arbery twice with a shotgun before the 25 year old collapsed and died. Okay, now, all right, so the man was just jogging, minding his own business and came accosted by two white guys that had nothing nothing else better to do, right? Nothing else better to do but just to go out here and front this man for what? He did not commit a crime. He was just out jogging. Minding his own business. Um, at the time, now, at the time, the the father and son team, they 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 didn't get a they didn't get arrested at the time. They wasn't arrested or nothing like that. All right. But uh but the father and son team did get arrested. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here they are. Let's see. Nope. Wrong picture. Wrong picture. Wrong picture. Uh, oop, wrong video. Wrong picture. Damn it, man. Okay. Hold on. I got I got to get the picture for you guys. I was looking for the picture and I couldn't find it. I knew I had it. Yep, there it is. Bam. There they are. <laughs> there they are. Right there. Those two. Those two characters right there. <laughs> picture of success, right? <laughs> picture of success. This guy, these, these two, this two, father, son. What, what was the reason, bruh? Y'all ain't had nothing else better to do but to go out and bother this black man while he's running. Now, I got the video. Uh, usually I don't play videos like this because it is shocking. It is, it is hard to watch, but... Guys, you know, it's it's an it's an unfortunate video. Um, you know, the guy the guy was just running, minding his own business, and then there's the you know there's the truck that's in front. He goes around, look like he goes around the truck, and then that's where he gets fronted by. That's where he gets fronted by the uh, guy, and then off screen, that's when he gets shot. He comes back. He comes back on screen. He gets shot again, and then he falls. Now, nothing. <laughs> let me tell you. Nothing. <laughs> nothing came out of these guys right here. When it happened back up in February, it wasn't nothing. But now that the footage, the cell phone footage, looked like of somebody else that came around and, and caught the video, they decided now to put it out, and uh, and that happened. Maybe they wanted to get it up on YouTube later on or Twitter later on or whatever the case. Hopefully, 
he was a good whoever took the whoever took the video footage. Hopefully, there was a good Samaritan. You know, the guy, the guy on my man. You know, the brother really didn't have. The family said that the that the young man was you know that you know he he wasn't doing nothing he didn't he didn't bother nobody he was a nice guy I mean look at him Ahmad man I mean a, a nice brother you know what I'm saying nice little jawline man and his mother you know let me move out the way his mother right there son beautiful picture man beautiful picture I I cannot imagine what she is going through right now. This like I can't imagine of all of of situations like this, because this ain't a first time. This ain't a first time situation like this. You got George Zimmerman situation and uh and the young man that he shot. Because of what? He he had a he had on a hoodie. Uh some Skittles in his pocket and 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 um in Arizona and and George Zimmerman, Zimmerman shot him for what? Because he was at the wrong place at the wrong time. You know, back in Cleveland, you know, little, you know, that was kind of like a different situation of the kid, um, of the kid, you know, being shot by white cops. You know, cops jumped out of the car and shot the kid without even without even with, with no calls, no nothing, because they thought he had a gun. You know, that situation, wrong place at the wrong time, maybe. Or how about now? Don't get me wrong. Now listen, listen, guys. Do not get mad at me. All right. Do not get mad at me. All right. This is a they, they considering this as a racial situation because it was two white guys that shot an unarmed black man. And it's a it's a racial situation. But what do you call what do you call this situation? Uh, what do you call this situation right here? Hold on right quick. What do you call this situation? Uh, I am trying to bring it up. Give me a second. Here we go. What do you call this situation? Now, this happened. This happened a while back, too. All right. Uh, But this wasn't two white guys. This was a black family that shot and killed a security guard up in Flint, Michigan, because he was enforcing the no, I mean, he was enforcing the mask policy. The chick went back home, got her son and her husband. They came back up to the, to the family dollar argument, uh, argue with the guy because he disrespected his wife or whatever. Son jumped out of the car and shot him. Let's go to CBS news for the report store security guard. Police say the victim was killed for enforcing a state mandated face mask policy. Laura Podesta reports. A family dollar store in Flint, Michigan became a murder scene on Friday. Police believe a security guard, 43 year old Calvin Munnerlin, was fatally shot in the head after he told shopper Charmel Teague that her daughter had to wear a mask before entering the store. The daughter did not have a mask. Uh, Charmel did have a mask, but the altercation ensued, uh, and we believe she she communicated with Larry and, uh, Larry Teague and uh, Ramon Bishop, and they returned to the store, and the uh, shooting occurred. Genesee County Prosecutor David Layton says his office has authorized felony warrants against the two men involved. Charmel Teague is reportedly under arrest. The community is now remembering the life of Munnerlin. Now that's sad. sad. Like like I said before, y'all, sad state of affairs. 
sad state of affairs we're in right now that a black family, this chick right here, whoops, this chick right here and this family right here. Now, this is the fourth person that they actually found. They, they you know, they, they found the fourth person. The, uh, the story on that is, is that the sister of the, of the men that was that that killed the the uh the store the store uh the store guy the store security guard she's charged with tampering with evidence lying to police and accessory to felony murder after the fact now this is a black family let me move out the way this is a this is a black family right here they black they went back and 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 shot the man because of what? What? Because the dude was enforcing the 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 state mandated uh put a mask on policy. Really? All right. Now don't don't get mad at me. You know, you guys probably might be saying lockout, man. That's that's totally different. That's totally different. You know, it was two white guys. It was two white guys that shot an unarmed black man. Well, what what about these two? These these was two black guys that shot. Well, let me see. You know, if he's a store security guard at Family Dollar, I'm not sure if he was armed or unarmed or anything like that. But they went back up there and shot him. You know what I'm saying? They they went back up there and shot him. Now there wasn't much of a story back when Ahmad got shot back up in February. What I'm saying is we we ain't know nothing about it up until now until the video came out. Right? Until the video came out. That's when we found out about it. We we did not know nothing. We did not know nothing about it until the video came out. That's that's what I'm saying. We we didn't know nothing about what happened until the video came out and it sparked outrage because it was two white men that shot an unarmed black man for being in the wrong place at the wrong time. And it's it's this is not the first story that we ever hear anything like this of of white people shooting a black uh shooting a black person i'm just saying but then there's but on the flip side of things though there's stories of a lot of black men shooting black men You see what I'm saying? See, race is involved when it's when it's a white, when it's a white versus a black. But what is it when it's black versus black? Is that race? You know, I I seen an article about uh about a chick at a gas station shooting an unarmed black man. And for what? Because because they was in the art. I mean, they was arguing. You know, maybe then whatever they was arguing about. You quit to pull out a gun. Boom, bam, done, over with. They you 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 gonna get caught. So when you do get caught, you know you're gonna get thrown in jail. But the but the person that you shot is six feet underground. But you're still living. Just like these, just like these two guys. You know what I'm saying? They, of course, they got arrested. Of course, they got arrested. They had to get arrested. They must got, I mean, get arrested. They had to be found because of the scrutiny of the outrage that's covering the situation unarmed black man jogging in the georgia neighborhood gets gunned down by two white guys that's that's 
that's the uh, that's the uh, that's the title. That's the headline. That's the headline, right there. You know. But I'm just saying the headline for the other the, the headline for the security guard was security guard gets gunned down by a family. It didn't say white. It didn't say black. It just said family. Then when you click into the news, then you'll find out that it's a black family that has something to do with a black man getting gunned down. But in the case of Ahmad, it was black man running in the black, I mean, black man running in the neighborhood, jogging in the neighborhood, minding his business, getting gunned down by two white guys. You, you see where I'm going with that? The media. You see where I'm coming from? The media likes to spruce it up. The media likes to hype it up. The media wants to spark the outrage. Now, video comes out of a black man getting gunned down by two white guys, a father and son guy, uh, two, a white father and son. Now it's a story. Now it's trending. Now it's, but back in February when it happened, you know, the, the headline then was a jogger, a jogger got, you know, a jogger was, was found. It, it, it has to say found because we didn't know, you know, we didn't know if it they was white or not. Or or whatever the case, a jogger was shot in in the neighborhood. I mean, just just go back. You know, go back and and see what 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 the what the archives was, what the news pertaining to Ahmad's death. But now May 2020, this week, because it's been trending all week. It is what it is. All right. Now, some of you guys going to some of you guys going to feel some kind of way, but I'm, I'm just saying it's just, you know, it's just opinionated. It's something to get out there. But I always said that race is a thing. Race is a thing now. You know, it's a thing now. I didn't I didn't realize until I I didn't realize until my man showed me the video. And I I stood there, I was like, wait, he got assassinated? I was like, wait, man, he I, did I just witness a murder? And he was like, Yeah, you did. In broad daylight? Yeah. It was. I, I don't know what be going through people's minds. It's 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 a sad state of affair. You know, my condolences goes out to this man right here, Ahmad. You know, my my condolences, my condolences to you. Rest in peace, brother. You know, condolences to your moms because I cannot phantom the the idea of of what she's going through right now. You know what I'm saying? You know, she did some of the, you know, she did some of the uh, news, you know, she feels that uh, she, she needs justice, not just a slap on the wrist. This was outright murder. Okay. This was outright murder. Doesn't matter what color they was. It was outright murder. It was wrong. It's outright murder, and they need to be charged with the maximum. And I'm talking if if they're in a death penalty state, then you got you you got to throw the death penalty at them. Either that, throw them under the jail, throw away the key. Under the jail. Do you get a key when you get thrown under the jail? <laughs> I'm just saying, man. They, they got to go into the deepest, darkest holes that's ever made. I'm talking about solitary confinement. Stay there until God calls them home. 
Because right there in broad daylight, that was that was not cool. That was not cool. For whatever the reason that this young man got his life taken from him for nothing. And it doesn't matter the color. Same thing with same thing with with the security guard at that family dollar. He got his life taken for nothing because of two cowards that came up there and tried to try to you disrespected my wife. You wasn't there, bro. So you don't even know what happened. You only going off with, with what she said. And the dude probably just stated like, yo, ma'am, you can't come into the store because of the uh because you don't have a mask. Well, why she can't come in? And yada 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 and this, that, and the third. And ma'am, she can't come in without a mask. That's all. Just wait in the car. You got on the mask. So come in, do your shopping, and go. But no, what you have to do, go home, rile up your 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 son and two-cent husband so they can round up the posse and come back up there and fuck with that black man. See, I said it, black man that's doing the job. That dude, it, what? That dude had no idea but to the the go to work at a fucking family dollar. A family dollar, man. I mean, it kind of remind me of that episode from The Wire where Marlo Stansfield went into the store and he, you know, he fought with that security guard by by uh by taking the um by taking a, you know, a lollipop. Now, don't get me wrong. I mean, I I think I I think the security guard <laughs> I think the security guard shouldn't have fucked with him. I think he should have just let that slide. You know, it it was it was only what uh 5 cent uh 5 cent sucker uh lollipop or whatever. But Marlo did it in front of the guard to get a reaction, and that's what he got. And unfortunately, Chris Parlo and Snoop came back and murdered the guy because he stood his ground with Marlo. Go back and watch that episode. It's The Wire. It's the one where Marlo uh, lost the poker game, which I will be pissed too because it was a lot of money. But still, the, the the guard there didn't didn't need to lose his life over some bullshit, which that's what it was. So same thing over at the family dollar thing. It was bullshit. And he lost his life over it. Same thing with my man Armand right here. Bullshit. And he lost his life over bullshit. So do I think race play a part in a lot of things? Maybe, you know, there's racism, you know, I, I ask the question all the time and I will continue to ask the question. Racism is everywhere, not just trucking, it's everywhere. But I think the media, the media puts a little bit more salt on the situation. Because, like I said, back then, it was just a jogger getting gunned down by two men, right? And now that the video came out, it's a black man jogging in a jogging in the neighborhood getting gunned down by two white men with the family situation. It wasn't they didn't even say the color of the family. It just said it said, like I said before, the headlines. The headlines was, uh, hold on, I, I can't, I can't find it now. So, <laughs> uh, oh, here it is. The headlines, 
Three charge in murder of a family dollar security guard over face mask. It didn't say color. It didn't say black or anything like that. We didn't f- didn't find out that it was a black family until they actually went in and in, into the story. But the headline for Ahmad's situation now is is black and white. Yo, I'm about to get on up out of here. I, I appreciate you guys watching. I do. Um, uh, if you guys like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this and that all button. You know what I'm saying? That's where you. That's where you'll find me right here. I am your humble host, Lockout Men. Um, Lockout Men podcast. You know what I'm saying? That's what we that's what we do over here. <laughs> we chop it up. We chop it up. Like I said, rest in peace to my man Ahmad right here. Condolences out to his mom. Uh, like I said, I can't I can't phantom the feeling right now. Can't phantom the feeling. But I I do hope she gets justice for her son. She needs justice for her son. It must be justice for the son all right if not i don't know it probably might end up uh another sam jackson situation y'all y'all remember that movie um what was it a time to kill but this time it wasn't over a little girl is right here is her son so let's hope and pray that she gets justice for her, her baby and um and and put and let's try to put the community to rest because now if the situation if the outcome don't if they don't get the outcome that they need then of course another situation just might spark up all right and let's just hope that it don't it don't go that far. I hope it don't go that far. I hope and pray it doesn't. But this lady right here needs justice for her kid because my man didn't bother nobody. He didn't deserve to get killed in broad daylight. You know, for whatever reason, those two white guys, the father and son, accosted him for. I'm just saying. Uh, thank you for watching again. Lockout men, I am your humble host. I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. Um, I am out. I am sad. I am I am hurt. Uh I definitely, definitely hurt to bring you guys uh content like this. You know, I mean. You know, it's not truck. It's not trucking related. I understand that. Uh, I apologize to you know my my subscribers and everything that you know that comes to my channel and and um, you know want to come for trucking content and I you know bring you you know the the situation that happened to this young man. But you got to understand that this this could happen to anybody. This 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 could happen to anybody. You know. And it needs to be a it needs to be awareness, you know what I'm saying? It needs it needs to be aware awareness, you know. So, on that note, everybody, we are gone.